Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Now, um, I will be doing stuff with my clarinet for today and probably a lot of my videos. So let's open this. I got this about two weeks ago. Started playing it. Um, it's a um. I'm probably gonna be like it's wrong. I say buffet champion, but it's supposedly buffet champion clarinet. I got the resin student and st student starter clarinet from uh, buffet champion. See buffet champion Paris, and um, it was about eight hundred dollars. But don't want to get into that mostly. But it is resin and in here it's like scratchy I don't know but it, it comes with a lot of stuff well the I have like an old clarinet huh, I'll show you um it is a neon green clarinet that I've had for literally three years and I it was just an old one and I'm starting band so that's cool now that one came with like a green cap but this one comes with like a silver metal looking cap and the ligature is so nice and these these like mouthpieces go for like a hundred bucks and I'm like oh wow so yeah see it's like a really really nice ligature and also a really nice cap so yeah it's really cool and also, it came with a bunch of stuff. Um, it came with a starter pack thing. And I had this thing. It's like a little brush for like under these things. Under like the little cleaners. And also, this thing is to clean out the holes. To make sure you don't get mold. Because on my last one, I got mold. And it, and it sucks. So that is a really good tool to have. It might not look like much, but it's really cool. Now this, um, it has a little metal piece on the end, and you drop this, here, here. you drop this little metal piece through your instrument, and you pull it through, the pull the rag through, and it'll get any, like, spit or anything inside of it out, which is a really good thing to have. Also, a buffing rag. Just clean up the outside, so if you have any water, you just clean it up with that. Also, I found it really nice to have a reed holder. This one is a Rico reed holder. And also, I have two Rico reeds. I love Rico reeds. They are a great company to buy reeds and reed holders from. I really enjoyed having one of these because my old reeds, I had to get new ones every, all the time. And with this, it saves you a lot of money. And it's really nice. And also, you need cork grease. It, most instruments do come with cork grease, but if it doesn't, you need to get some cork grease. Also, this thing. Now, this thing is also for cleaning the holes. The ones that are bigger holes, you clean with that one. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it together. And I might play you some couple songs and teach you how to play them. So yeah, this is my clarinet. Now, here is a reed. This is a Rico reed. This is a BB clarinet reed. Um, see, Rico. Now you're just gonna put this in your mouth. It's a two and a half um, sized reed. Now you're just gonna soak this in your mouth for a while. Just suck on it. But I have already done that so that I can talk to you guys. Now, we are going to have to start out. To put it, the instrument together, you will need this part. Most of you know how to put this together, but most, some of the who do not know, you take the mouthpiece, which is right here, and you take the barrel. Now, the part that has the cap on, like the logo on, you're going to... um. One set. You want to twist this on to the smaller part. So one second. There you go. You 
get it. Um, usually, I would put cork grease on like this part and on the mouthpiece. But I have already done it, so we don't need to do that. So I put that on there. Now there is this part, and this is where you might get confused. Now this part, you can see this part? This is the top part. Now this thicker part on the barrel will go on to the top. You just wiggle it on and you put cork grease on there on the cork part. So one second, let me do that. Okay, now that I've got the got it on, this is what it looks like so far. Now this part is really important. Okay, so you see this little part, um, one sec. This part right here, that, the little part that overhangs that I'm touching, right there, right, right next to the cork. Now you see this metal piece is up. When I push that down, this thing moves up. Now you're going to make sure that you have this up when you are screwing it onto the next part, but make sure you are not pushing these down or that'll make this part over here go up. You want to make sure that that part, this metal piece is part are up and not down, and that this part is down, and that this part is down. So let me do that. Now you're going to, you have wanted to, um, see? So when you push this up, this overhangs that, and then when you push this up, it makes this metal piece go down up there. That's what you want. And you want to make sure when you push this down, line it up with this, this hole and this hole, when you push it down, like that. And then the last part is pretty easy. You just take the barrel, and you are able to line the letters up with the top and I'll do that real fast. Okay, now I got that on there. So this is what it looks like so far. Now what you're going to do is you take your reed that's been in your mouth all this time. Now you're going to go to the top here. Now you're going to line the top of here with the top of this. And also, then you're going to take your reed and you're going to have it like this. You want the thinner part on the top and you want to have the screw part like this. Now you're just going to push that down. Now if your thing has lines, it'll go one sec. So if you can, you can look at yours and it'll go to about there. Now you're going to make sure that your reed is nice and straight on the top line. Now you've completed making, putting your instrument together. And that is all for this part and I will make you part two how to plug it. Bye!